welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to the normal blonde daily today it is I always forget the days, honestly. I think it's it's day two of Ramadan. I think it's day four of the Ramadan daily. Hopefully I'm right. But I am about to go to the gym. I'm actually running a little late, so I think I'm gonna have to like walk halfway and then take the scooters the other half. Um, oh my God, I forgot my aura ring. Damn it. Okay, one second. Okay, we're good. I use this to like track my steps and my workout and everything. But anyways, I gotta stop talking and I gotta go. Go to the gym i'll show you guys my workout and what i do during normal dawn shoot where's my key i'm just gonna take my husband's key and call it a day all right let's go so last night or this morning i guess i set my alarm and it went off we turned it off and I usually like snooze it instead because I know we'll probably fall asleep that early in the morning but this time I actually just kept sleeping until there was like 15 minutes left before we had to stop eating so <laughs> unfortunately I didn't really have time to like eat a proper meal so I just had three dates and then just chugged a ton of water but honestly I'm feeling good I'm not like feeling low energy or thirsty or anything so I think this workout's gonna go well I feel really bad though because my husband like rolled over and I thought he said I don't want to get up for Sahur but I think well he claims he said to bring me something so I just like stuffed those dates in my mouth and then ran to the bathroom and then he like opens the door and at this point like it's or like Fudger's already in He's like, what the heck? <laughs> like, he's like, I thought you were bringing me something. I thought you were out here preparing something for me. I didn't even get to drink water, so I felt so bad. So anyways, this is a note to self to just wake him up anyway, so that doesn't happen. I'm running a little bit late, so I'm gonna have to get on one of these lime bikes. Oh, hopefully I can get there on time. She really did kill it. She really killed it. it was yeah. so cute. I don't wanna really have a slight bend in the elbow. Two. Going to 20. these again oh oh is it the oh, okay 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 i thought it was this i was like my baby like, arms can't handle that right now five four three two one go body workout doing well we're just doing like heavier weights slightly less reps today uh, and I'm feeling good feeling good for my first workout of Ramadan Lindsay just told me this last one is gonna suck so I don't know okay. what she's got <laughs> I don't know what she's got in store for me but maybe oh my god <laughs> Definitely sucky. <laughs> Definitely sucks. So workout complete. Now just get some cardio and walking back home. And we're 
need to go. You were not joking about that last one. I told no lies. My little baby arms. I told no lies. <laughs> I'm heading home now. It's such a beautiful day though. It's like my favorite thing to just walk downtown when the sun is out. Like it just feels so much better. Um, but I'm gonna head home, freshen up, and then I have quite a bit of work to do today. But I did also get a package from this Abaya brand, um, or like modest fashion brand that I wanna share. So I'm thinking maybe in the afternoon, I'm gonna put some makeup on and do a little try on haul. So I'll show you guys when I film that as well. Cause the pieces, I mean, I picked them like a month ago, so I kind of forget what I got, but I do remember them being like very, very beautiful. So I feel like they'll be great inspo for Ramadan or something. So I'll share that when I get home. I'm low-key like still catching my breath <laughs> from that workout though. Also, I didn't share this before the workout, but we did a full body today. I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of everything um, for the first workout just to kind of see how I'm feeling. And I'm glad I did because now I'm like, all right, I can handle a lot. I didn't eat a lot for Sahur, but I still felt really good. So that's great. Um, I feel like I only really filmed the arms and like back portion, but we did do a leg um, circuit as well. And I believe tomorrow we're gonna do upper body again. And then Thursday we're gonna do lower body or I might switch that to like lower body tomorrow because I feel like my legs can handle a little bit more than my upper body can right now. So yeah, all right, I'll see you guys when I get home. Hello, it is much later. Um, I've just been like working, kind of like sitting on the computer all day, but I'm about to start making dinner. But I, before that, I wanted to actually unbox or unbag this package that I got from, I think it's Malika. I, let me just open it and see. Um, but they sent over some abayas because I saw these online and was instantly obsessed. And they were so kind to literally send me Manikat, that's the brand. Manikat. They were so kind to send me like a bunch of Abaya, so I thought I would do a little unboxing for you guys in case you want to shop any of these. I feel like they would be like really beautiful Eid outfits as well. Um, I'm gonna do like a whole try on on my TikTok uh, sometime this week, but before that, I kind of just wanted to show it to you guys. So, okay, what is this? I think this is like an Abaya kimono type thing. Ooh, really pretty. I don't know what this is called. Fluff. <laughs> and let me just throw it over here. I like that it's only on one side too. Um, it's like the perfect length. You can kind of like wear it like that. So cute. Super lightweight as well. So I feel like I'll wear this with like my silk dress underneath from Vince or something. This is so cute. I'm going to like a bunch of different iftars this month. So this is definitely gonna come in handy. And then I got another black one. Wow, this is beautiful. So this, ooh, oh my God, I love this. <gasps> this is so gorgeous. So it's kind of sheer. Um, so you definitely have to wear something underneath, um, but it's like a like half abaya, I guess. It does have buttons and you can wear it closed or you can wear it open. This one I feel like is gonna be my favorite. I love, 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 love the style of this. It's so, so gorgeous. It's like beaded and embroidered. This is gonna be so beautiful. And I love the fact that both the back and the front have designs on them. Wow. This is just stunning. I'm like, I can't wait to try that on. That's so gorgeous. So, ooh, I like the material of this. I think they're one size, so they obviously come with like a lot of fabric. And you can make this like as modest or like curvy, I guess, as you want. I love this color. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like this, like, it has a slight sheen to it. Really, really good quality. I have a uh, size 56 for size reference. Um, I'm about 5'4", and 56 is always perfect. Um, this is gorgeous, and then it also does come with ties on the inside to like cinch up the waist like a normal kaftan would fit. 
Oh, okay, actually, there's a lot in here. So, same type of style, but in this like blush mauve, I guess as you would call it. And then I got this, I kind of forget what this is. It's like a tan linen. Ooh, cute. And then it has a tie that you can like tie onto the side over here. And then let me know if you guys want me to do a try on in my next Ramadan daily video or something. Cause I know obviously I'm gonna do it for TikTok eventually, but if you like wanna see it, I guess quicker, <laughs> um, I can definitely film that for you guys. Just let me know. This, oh, I actually don't have an abaya this color at all. So I'm really excited. So regal, oh my God. I'm definitely gonna have to wear one of these for my um, Ramadan iftar this year. Cause I just feel like it's so grand. And then this actually, I'm going to, I'm going to like a red carpet event this week and I feel like it would be kind of cool, kind of iconic to pull up in a kaftan during Ramadan, you know? It's like periwinkle blue. It has this um, feather detail on the side. And then what's nice about this is it's actually like high neck. So you don't have to worry about obviously like any neck coverage. Um, and then the back, um, is just plain and it's also a kaftan so you can cinch it up in the waist as well i love this one seriously so beautiful this one also came with like a matching chiffon hijab which honestly i probably won't wear but yeah um and i think that's it i'm like literally obsessed with this brand luxury modest wear from malikat and i believe they're based in the uk so definitely run i believe they just restocked I don't know if they've already sold out by the time this video is going live, but I would highly recommend checking these out because they are so beautiful. And I'll put my code here or in the description down below um, if they are able to get me one. All right, so I'm gonna cook some iftar. Even though we have the soup still, um, we've had some ground turkey in here for the past couple days and I wanna use it before it gets bad, so. Um, I think I'm gonna make like Asian, Asian turkey balls, I don't know. So I'm probably gonna film this for TikTok as well. Since I haven't actually like tested the recipe yet, I kind of want to like do it beforehand and then film it for TikTok. So I have my ground turkey here. I'm gonna do some soy sauce. About one tablespoon, although there's not much left in here anyways. So I'm gonna do some ground ginger. You can do fresh garlic, but I'm just gonna use some of this to make it easier. Maybe a little bit more. These ones are Italian breadcrumbs, just because I was trying to find some with good ingredients. I did not realize breadcrumbs had like nasty ingredients in them, like at the grocery store so just be aware of that I guess um, but you could use like panko breadcrumbs I feel like that'll be better to be honest to give like some bite and texture I'm also gonna do an egg some green onion salt, and some lemon pepper. That's the turkey mixture all done. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on my hand just so the turkey doesn't keep sticking to my gloves. Now I'm just going to roll them up into little meatballs. Meatballs are prepped and ready to go into the oven. I just set the
set the timer for 15 minutes, so I'm going to see if that's enough time for them to cook. But in the meantime, I'm going to start on the, the sauce that goes with it. So it's kind of like a sticky sesame Asian sauce. And I'm actually going to be using the Eid Always Pan for the first time. I'm so excited. This is the campaign that I shot with our place. If you guys watched the first vlog and it has like a little crescent moon at the top, it's so cute. It's like a two-tone green design. I'll link this below in case you guys want to check it out as well. And it's also, I think, the new Always Pan that's like oven safe. It's a better non-stick, just better durable ingredients, <laughs> uh, materials, I, sh I should say. Someone also, I saw someone's comment like, girl, move the toilet paper or move the paper towel away from the oven. So let me do that so y'all don't get scared. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna start making this sauce. I'm gonna do about a cup or half a cup of soy sauce. This is coming out a little too slow for my liking, but I'll be patient. Ooh, I'm gonna do a third of a cup of beef broth. I'm using kosher beef broth. I'm gonna do like two teaspoons of sesame oil and then in that same thing I'm gonna do like a fourth of a cup of honey. The meatballs are perfect though. I'm gonna do a healthy amount of garlic, about four cloves, a little ground ginger, some black pepper, and then I'm gonna add some chili flakes. And I'm also gonna do just like a squeeze of some sriracha as well. This is what we're working with. I'm gonna let this like reduce and get nice and sticky and sweet. I may add some cornstarch to this as well, but I'm just gonna see how it thickens on its own first. Looking really good. It's starting to reduce up a little bit as well. So I honestly don't think I'll need to add any cornstarch. Sauce is looking nice and saucy. So I'm gonna add the meatballs. I'm also going to add some sesame seeds. Okay, this is looking really good. I feel like I probably could have left it on the heat a little longer to get thicker, but I'm hoping that as it just like cools down and then by the time it's served, it'll be like the right texture. I feel like so this is why I like to try things out the first time because maybe next time I will end up adding a little bit of cornstarch to make it a little thicker. But we'll see what it looks like by the time FSR comes in. Or Mother comes in, I mean. I also have some broccoli that's been steaming here. A little sesame oil. Some salt. A verdict on the meatballs they taste so good I think I ended up adding a little bit of salt towards the end I definitely don't need to add any salt to this recipe the soy sauce like takes care of that but this tastes so good I added rice to my soup yesterday and I think the rice ended up like soaking up all of the soup when it was in the fridge so I ended up having rice it the flavors don't necessarily match, but it still tastes really good. And then I just have some steamed broccoli on the side as well for a vegetable, but this is really, really good. And as when we realize our potential and become the blessed presence where we find ourselves. When we do the
the same, we are also Mubarak to whatever place we're from. He illuminates it through the light of your deeds. That's what some of the scholars say. No. If you choose, whether it be a curse of your time, or a blessing one day, or maybe the millions of prayers, idea how hard it was to support Islam in its earliest days. Most blocks. Ebook where Sheikh Ismail has brilliantly compiled on how uh, we ask Allah Subhanahu to accept both of you and all, of course, our work and uh, to. Just finished praying Isha. Y'all, I am so tired. Today was a long, a long, long day. And like, I feel like I didn't really, well, I mean, not that I really want to share that much as we're like actually eating. But my husband and I kind of got annoyed with each other <laughs> towards the end of us fasting. Like, he didn't get to eat anything um, for Sahur. And then by the end of the day, you know, like that last hour of fasting is like truly a test. It is a test for you and anyone else that you come across with. <laughs> That's like the hangry hour. So I think we were both hangry at each other and just like snappy. But we made up, we prayed together, and we're all good. <laughs> just looking back at it, like it's it's just always so funny because like you know why you're being annoying and being snappy, but you can't really do anything about it because you can't eat right right away, right? But anyways. Ah, this is just a reminder to be kind to the people around you even when you're hangry and even when you're fasting and if you can't control yourself then maybe just isolate yourself until the food is on the table oh. anyways <laughs> I'm laughing about it right now honestly because it's so silly it is literally so silly I'm gonna go to sleep I actually just made some chocolate covered dates um but like like a bark instead I've been seeing that kind of all over and it's actually a lot easier to make than like actually stuffing all the dates um maybe actually you know what maybe I will show you guys before I end this vlog let me just show you because I am gonna eat it before I go to bed I'm just like so tired right now it's like it's not even 10 o'clock I need to go to bed though I have another workout in the morning and I also just feel like I've been vlogging so much today. I'm just tired. But let's see what these turned out. That's what they look like. They've only really been in the freezer for like 20 minutes or less, honestly, but whatever. Yeah, I do wish the peanut butter was a little bit more solid though. It's like super runny. See how runny it is? I think I prefer the actual stuff dates. Just cause like, I don't know. I feel like you get more of the date. This, maybe it's, I don't know, maybe I put too much peanut butter or something, but it's just like oozing everywhere and the texture is just kind of off for me. But the flavor still tastes the same. It's good. Very messy though. I hope you're enjoying spending Ramadan with me every day. Tomorrow I'm filming a video with my financial advisor. Um... And I'm actually really looking forward to it. I feel like it'll be a really beneficial video too. A lot of my girls, especially like the younger ones or the ones kind of around my age. So stay tuned for that. But donation links are down below. As always, we're raising money for 
um, humanitarian and medical aid in Gaza, for building a hospital in Mali, for maternal care, and then also as part of the For Mama campaign with um, Islamic Relief USA to support maternal care um, in a bunch of other countries. So more details on that in the description. I love you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Actually check if you're subscribed. Because I always see comments from people being like, I thought I was subscribed to you this whole time, but I wasn't. So check if you're subscribed. And if you're not, join the family. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of the Ramadan Daily. Good night.